We've all heard the saying, actions speak louder than words. But what happens when our actions don't match our words? When we say one thing, but do another? That's called hypocrisy, and it's a serious problem. We've all been guilty of hypocrisy at some point in our lives. Maybe we've told someone else to be honest while we're hiding a secret for ourselves. Or maybe we've criticized someone else for being lazy while we are secretly procrastinating on something important. Hypocrisy can be subtle, and it can also be damaging. As Christians, we believe in following the teachings of the Bible, and the Bible has a lot to say about hypocrisy. In fact, Jesus himself had some strong words for the religious leaders of his time, who were hypocrites. Jesus said, Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of dead men's bones and everything unclean. In the same way, on the outside you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. Those are strong words, but they show how serious Jesus took the problem of hypocrisy. Another portion in hypocrisy can be found in Proverbs 11, verse 3. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. This verse teaches that those who have integrity and are honest in all their dealings will be guided and protected by God. On the other hand, those who are unfaithful, engage in duplicity, saying one thing and doing another, will ultimately be destroyed by their own actions. It reminds us of the importance of being consistent in our words and actions and the consequences of hypocrisy. So the first step to deal with hypocrisy is to be honest with ourselves. We need to recognize our own flaws and weaknesses and be willing to admit when we are not living up to our own standards. The second step is to take action to change. We need to be intentional about improving ourselves and living according to the values that we profess. It's not easy to avoid hypocrisy, but it's worth it. When we live with integrity, we can make a positive impact on those around us and we can honor God with our lives. Let's strive to be honest, humble, genuine in all that we do. Let's avoid hypocrisy and live with integrity. So the question comes, are you a hypocrite or are you honest? If you missed any of our previous videos, don't forget you can go to our channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.